Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another pen for review and before we open the box I think we will go in just take a little bit of a look at Banu. Banu is a creative brand of writing instruments and desk accessories designed and handcrafted in Moscow, Russia. A daring concept, bold texture, combinations and a vivid colour palette are the key characteristics of the Banu collection. Bennu's team of designers and artisans take great care to create highly unusual writing instruments to surprise and delight. The writing instrument industry has a vast range of producers offering a great variety of classic and prestigious pens. What Bennu constantly strive for and what Bennu wanted from the very beginning was to create something different. Something that was playful, stylish and, of course, fun. Bennu is a young and trendy Russian brand of writing instruments and accessories. Its story began in January 2016 when co-founders Alex and Kate decided to join forces to set up a new creative concept. Right from the start the aim was clear to make writing instruments and desk accessories for those who prefer bold, bright colours and new designs. Both Alex and Kate have experience in fine watch, jewellery and home decor markets, launching multiple successful projects over the last 15 years, being great admirers of the art of creating fountain pens, they decided to create Bennu, a new brand of writing pens and accessories. The first collection of Bennu pens was launched in October 2016 with their efforts the help of several contractors and the immense support of family and friends. The Banu is an ancient Egyptian deity associated with the sun, creation and rebirth. The Banu bird is also one of the oldest known names of the phoenix, a majestic and divine creature that dies and is reborn throughout time. As Banu is also a bird, the fact that the quills are one of the most well-known prototypes of fountain pens and most commonly used symbols of writing instruments makes a bird a perfect symbolic representation of a company that produces pens and desk accessories. So this is the pen that I have for review today and I'd like to thank Derek at Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies for loaning me this pen for review. Now this is a Banu pen and I really do like these boxes. I love the calligraphy or the cursive that is actually on that inscribed onto that box. Now this is quite a rubbery box but it is a, a cardboard box and it is recyclable. So this pen is the Grand Scepter IX or number 9 and it is a medium nib. So I think let's remove the box and the first thing you see here is the pen but let me just put that to one side. You also see that you get a long international cartridge there and also a care guide from Banu which goes on about the product care of your pen and this is concertinaed into a very small piece of paper and then you get this sort of paper straw like bedding so all of this is actually recyclable uh, the box which I do like a lot and then you get the pen itself and this is again another cardboard sleeve which is recyclable and then you have the pen so let me remove the box and I will show you the pen so this is the Bernou Grand Scepter number no. 9 now I will go over this pen uh, over the details of this pen and then I'll show you the differences between the regular scepter and then the Grand Scepter so this pen is actually quite an interesting design. It's a design of a scepter, hence the name scepter. So it is basically a rod or a staff, but you'll find that on the cap sort of finial here, it actually balloons out and becomes more bulbous. It then tapers into what is the cap band here, and it says Banu. And then it tapers back out again to the end of the pen, and again it sort of gets a little bit more bulbous there and that creates the look of the scepter 
Now, one thing you will also see is that this pen is faceted, and if I try to angle that light there, you'll see when I twist the pen, you'll see that it's not only faceted, but it also the facets are twisted as well which is another thing that I actually like about this pen now one of the things that are different with this pen compared to the regular scepters is that these ends here are phosphorus or luminescent so you can actually still see parts of this pen in the dark if you've had a lot of light shining on that pen so I think let's show you now on what this pen looks like in the dark. So you can see here that the pen is glowing quite a lot there, especially the ends of the pen. I think that this actually is quite a nice look. So that's one of the, the things about the differences between the Scepter and the Grand Scepter. The next thing is the nib and this is a number six size nib not a number five size nib that are on the regular scepters and a lot of the other banu pens as well so it's a schmidt nib it's a medium nib but it's a number six size nib with an abs plastic feed there the other thing also to accommodate this number six size nib is that you do have to have a slightly more girthier section as well and the difference between a number five and number six size nib if you don't know the number five and number six really denotes the width of the nib at the base of the section. So although a five and a six millimeter nib is only one millimeter difference, it actually makes a, a lot more difference in terms of the length of the nib and also in terms of the width of the nib around the shoulders. So it makes the nib a lot larger. And if I unscrew the body here, you will see that it also comes not only with a international long cartridge but also an international converter as well so you can actually fill the pen with ink or if you don't have any bottled ink available you could just plug in the cartridge and ink the pen up straight away which is something that i do like when pen companies do that i typically don't normally use the cartridges myself because i have 300 bottles of ink but I can see the reason why if, if the package arrives at home and you take it to work or school and then suddenly you realise you don't have any ink with you or maybe you just receive it at school or at work uh, or you're giving it as a present. So I do like the idea that it does come with one cartridge. So, so that is quite good. Now in terms of the size of my hand, I find that this is actually a really nice size. The length of the Grand Scepter is actually the same as the regular Scepter. So the length of the pen is is exactly the same. It's not any larger, which I kind of wish it was. But I can see that the, the main difference really in the Grand part is the nib and the section. But I do like this. Um, you cannot post these caps. They are not designed to do so. You can just see here. There's a difference in size there. So they're not going to post. But I do find that this is actually quite comfortable in the size of my hand. So I really do like this. Now in terms of glitter, you'll see here, if I just screw that on, you'll see here that this actually has still quite a bit of glitter in that cap and then also in the body here. But it's not as much glitter as the regular scepters had. So I think let's do a size check or weight check. We'll do a pen comparison and then we'll do a writing sample. So the length of the pen is about 133 millimeters in length, and the length of the cap is about 61 millimeters in length. The length of the body to the tip of the nib or the tip of the tines, we're looking about 126 millimeters in length. Now, the weight of the body, we are looking, this is uninked at just under 27 grams the weight of the cap we are looking at just over seven and a half grams and 
the weight of the body is just under 19 and a half grams. So I really do like this pen. It's actually quite quite a nice sort of looking pen. So I think let's do a pen comparison. So from left to right, we have an Atelier Luso Carina Amethyst Fields. We have an Atelier Luso Carina in black ice. We have a Delta Federico. We have a Leonardo Offertina Italiana Memento Zero in the Positano Blue. We have a Pilot Vanishing Point in the Crimson Sunrise. We have a Banu Grand Scepter number no. 9. We have a Retro 51 Apollo Space Pen. We have a Twisby Diamond 580 AL. We have a Twisby Vac 700R. And then we have an Opus 88 Calaro Demonstrator. So let's do a writing sample. This is the Banu. And it's the Grand Scepter. And it's the number nine, which is IX. And it is a medium steel nib. And then the ink in here today is Diamine. And it's Aqua Lagoon which I think actually matches part of the, the pen quite well. And in terms of line variation, we are looking at a medium nib. So you are going to get a medium line here. Now, if I try to push that a little bit harder, you can coax a little bit more towards a broad line coming out of this pen. And you can see here, in terms of the figure of eights, that you can get some line variation out of it. Now, I'm not seeing any skips or hard starts on this nib, on this Schmidt nib, this number six size nib. It's actually writing quite nicely. And if I do a ink wetness test, you will see there that the cross strokes are a little bit more on the dry side but the downstrokes are a little bit more on the wet side. And I typically do find that from Schmidt nibs and Banu nibs, uh, that the nibs are, are tuned more to be wetter. You have a slight more flex to the nib on the downstrokes so that you can get a little bit more wetness out of that nib. But the nib tines tend to be a little bit tight. So this would be a great pen potentially writing in a notebook uh, or if you're a light hand writer then you will find that it will put out a little bit more of a finer line so what do i like and what do i not like about this pen well simply i do like this pen a lot uh, i do like that it has a number six size nib on there uh, i do like that the section is a little bit more girthier so in terms of the functionality of the pen I tend to like this a little bit more than the Banu Scepter pen because it has a larger size nib and I tend to more prefer a number six size nib than a number five size nib. The material is actually quite interesting it glows in the dark and although that's really not something that I'm kind of into I can see that a lot of people would be into that. So for me, I think this is a great pen and it does write really well out of the box for me. So I'd like to thank Derek from Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies for the loan of this pen for review. If you want to check out this particular Grand Scepter or any other Scepters or any other Banu pens, then go and check out Derek's website at Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies. Derek also has a lot of other different pens as well in the Banu range and other range of pens as well as inks and notebooks and accessories so please do go and check out Derek at Stonecott Fine Writing Supplies website so again I'd like to thank Derek for the loan of this pen for review so this is my review of the Banu Grand Scepter number no. nine in a medium steel nib thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and I'll see you on the next pen video bye bye